So I've just arrived in Covent Garden and I'm currently walking to our office. I've got my rain hat on. Um, I also realised that I put lipstick on today because um, it's a Friday night so I thought I'd go a little bit fancy but obviously I'm going to be wearing a mask so hopefully it doesn't get too smudged um, but I am very used to wearing a mask I've been wearing it every time I've gone to the theatre when you're watching the show you kind of forget about it anyway so I will see you in the office so we've just arrived in the office this is Megan hey. and this is Larry a big Olivier Award statue. And um, the reason why we're standing by Larry is because Constellations was actually nominated for an Olivier Award in 2013. So we're really excited. Are you looking forward to it? I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, Best New Play it was nominated for in 2013. So we know it's gonna be good. Um, so yeah, we just can't wait. arrived in the theatre and we're in our own little box. It's, so, it's like our own little room. I love it. I've never been in a box before so this is a very exciting time for me. Um, and yeah, you can see the stage but also look at everyone's faces. Which I think I'll be doing a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at both. See their reactions. Yeah. I'm the artistic director of the Don Mar. This is our first show for 15 months, and I'm so <laughs> and the team here at the front of house who have made this possible for us to open a show at this time safely for us to be together. Thank you. Thank you to everyone. We have three more casts, so if you fancy it and want to tell people about it, please come down. How does it feel for you to be able to get a play back on stage in front of actual people? Ah, oh, it feels amazing to be opening a show. We haven't been able to kind of gather for 15 months and I think not being able to do that has shown how precious it is to do that um, and this is a play I know and love and have done lots but to be able to do it again and to have a new model with multicast that makes that celebrates the play that hopefully is a, you know a, a draw to as many different types of audiences as we can it's you know it's a massive effort and it's a big risk and it's challenging because of all the protocols and to reduce capacity but like that was a really special thing to do and I'm really, really excited to be back. Absolutely, I loved it at the end when you got everyone to kind of take a picture and they had their phones on to make a like, constellation. It felt quite emotional. Uh, I felt very emotional, you must have felt quite Yeah, emotional. I mean like people, it's been such a hard year, you know. People have been working to keep theatres going like sort of hundreds of hours a week with their teams on furlough. So many of our freelancers have just been absolutely stuck, you know, struggling and it, so it like, Everyone's had different types of really intense years, but suddenly you can do the thing and you can feel like everyone flexing their bones and going, oh yeah, this is a thing we did and it's a good thing and we missed this thing. And we've got big emotions we want to process and shared laughter and shared tears, just, you know. Yeah, no, I'm excited to, to have this play and, 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 and to, to give it a go now. Um, and uh, obviously it's a multi play. Um, how has that been in the rehearsal room? I can imagine it's so different each play, just from having different people in there. Totally. I mean, it's mad. My brain is fried to be running multiple rehearsal rooms, to see the scenes that repeat over and over again, being done by so many different people. But it's, it's a love story that transcends time and space. And it feels really exciting when uh, a decision that sort of 
is designed to protect us, you know, in case of anyone having to isolate, actually unlocks the play artistically. And it's so moving to see couples in completely different ages, completely different classes, completely different ethnicities, just telling this love story. And that and that's really moving. And I hope I hope that's an inclusive gesture to open this West End. And this amazing ensemble of eight actors are stepping up and sharing these roles because they know how important it is to get us all back into the West End. Absolutely. Do they get to see each other's? Parents? Oh, they haven't yet. And I think probably they're going to get themselves underway and then they're going to kind of maybe see down the line so that they can, you know, we're firewalling them for safe, for COVID reasons and for artistic to let them really kind of take ownership. And then I'm sure they will have sneak peeks um, in due course. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for chatting with me. That's and, my absolute and pleasure. Best of luck for the rest of the opening. Okay, how does it feel being back on stage? I, it, it, I mean, it was, uh, yeah. It's an absolute pleasure. Um, after so long indoors, I mean, sort of to share that communion again was a blessing, and yeah, the reaction was fantastic. And everyone was really happy to be there. I mean, our capacity was, we had a sold out night as well, but, and that was at 50%, but it didn't feel that way. I mean, the laughter was there, if anything, I think they were laughing even more. I think it was better, sort of freedom in uh, less numbers. But yeah, it was great to work for them tonight. Absolutely, and obviously the show has four different casts. Um, how has that been for you, being able to play a role that you know other people are also playing at the same time? Oh, it's war. It's war that I'm playing it. <laughs> no, um, uh, Peter was my doctor um, in my cameo episode, and he's fantastic. So, I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a blessing and an honour. I mean, whenever we've conferred and looking at rabbits in the headlights trying to get this play, uh, around, get our mouths around this play, but uh, he's... Um, yeah, it's it's great. It's great. I can't wait to wait to see Chris's. Can't wait to see um, Amari's and Russell's. I mean, yeah, it'd be great. Um, and finally, uh, obviously, the show has a, a lot of scenes that are kind of the same. How has that been learning <laughs> for you? How's that been? Um, from someone who's very much used to linear narratives, um, and it is kind of still a linear narrative. But uh, it's yeah, it's. It's been a challenge. It's, it's, Nick Payne's given us a great um, blueprint with which to explore the whole spectrum of emotions. Um, the relationship's beautiful, the writing's amazing. So, I mean, it's, it's, it was pretty difficult cramming all those lines, especially after so much uh, dust on the shelf. But I think we've blown it off right now. Hopefully the rest is coming. Hello, so we've just come out of Constellations. We've got Sheila and Ivano right above our heads. Um, what did you think? I thought it was incredible. I really loved it. I thought it was a beautiful, unique, and moving love story. Incredible acting, amazing script. It's a must-see. Yeah, absolutely. It's the, as I said earlier, it's the first play that I've gone to see that I've not seen before. And there's something so different about a play than a musical, I think. Obviously, they're very different things. I think the thing about the play was that there's so many kind of like silent moments in it that you don't get anywhere else and as an audience member you're like oh it's so quiet it feels a bit unnatural yeah. but obviously that adds to the tension of the play um it's very much yeah like a love story yeah, love it's story. all about kind of like quantum physics that yeah goes, Mul goes above my head universe. yeah it's quite amazing and i think that's really interesting actually seeing how they do that this multi-universe how life can be all sorts of different ways on stage it's really incredible yeah and then now i've seen these guys do it i want to see everybody yeah. else do it which is a really good way to sell tickets for a show because <laughs> you want to go back at the end, there was also a really nice moment. Um, Michael came out, he's the artist director of the Donmar, and he kind of made a speech about how it was the first play that he'd opened for 15 months. And it was a really, really emotional moment because everyone just started clapping and you could see everyone was getting a bit teary. Yeah. Um, and then they took a photo and he got everyone to turn their phone lights on and make like a constellation in the background. But well, we wanted to do a thing just to mark this moment. We've got a photographer, we'd love to turn on the lights. If you fancy getting out your phones and making it uh, turn on the light on your phone, we could do an audience full of constellations of phones. It would be a lovely way just to mark this moment. So thank you for being here. Yeah, Mark, you can join us. So if you're proud to get your phone down. Let's get to our big guys. Don't be such a beautiful thing. Yeah, anyone who can have a phone down? Absolutely. Yes, Um, so it's not really special to be there tonight on their first ever performance. Um, 
So yes, like I said, if you would like to get tickets, you can visit officiallondontheatre.com and if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe and give us a like. We'll see you at the next one. Bye! Bye.